Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Mm -hmm. I'm Carol and this is Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going a little deeper. We want to talk about our two biggest relationship challenges and we hope you're gonna like it. And just as a formality, uh, we just want to welcome everybody who is new to our channel. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're returning to watch this video and you watched our past videos and the videos before that, I just want to <laughs> say, guys, thank you so much for the support. And as you heard in our very last video, we said, hey, we're going to try to shoot content more frequently so that we can get to interact with you guys more, mm -hmm. make this space more... <laughs> more like a sharing space yeah and yeah. today we just wanted to get a little personal as carol said and i think uh we really really hope that what we share today is going to inspire some of you and hey we also want to learn from you so in case there's anything we say in this segment feel free to leave it down in the comments so one of our biggest relationship challenges is the language because I think most of you guys know I don't speak fluent English, but it was worse in the beginning. So <laughs> <laughs> I felt I can speak English and it, it was so hard for us. I think um, in like in the first few weeks, we struggled with, with the language. Weeks or months? Uh, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Just up, to, up to now, okay. <laughs> up to now, we've been together two years, uh -huh. but up to now, it's hard. It's hard, but I'm getting better every single day. That's for sure. I feel it. Joe feels it, yeah. and that's good. But the language is so important. If you want to, just like introduce yourself mm -hmm. and you want to get to know the other person you just have to speak the same language but if you don't that's a big problem yeah i i want to add on that carol because i think that when we first met um i think in the very last video you had us talk about how i was texting carol and we were texting in english and then <laughs> i go to meet her and surprise she doesn't speak any English and she's just using Google Translate. So just imagine the first part of our relationship, how hard that must have been, right? <laughs> um, I Sorry. Yeah. I, I have a story for this. Okay. Okay. So I told Joe that I don't speak English. Mm -hmm. I told him, but he didn't believe me. So the next day he sent me an audio message. <laughs> I was listening and guys... Oh, this is bad. <laughs> go, go, continue. <laughs> I had no idea what he said. I didn't understand. <laughs> so, somehow, by repeating, repeating the message, I understood something and I knew I had to answer to him. I wrote down everything and I picked my phone and I read it and I sent to him. I know it was like, no, I shouldn't say it was a lie that I speak, but it was much easier to speak before. So I wrote it down everything and I taught him. <laughs> uh, when I heard her voice the first time, I just knew it's, it's, it's gonna be long, but I have to learn this language because of this guy. Mm. And actually, you know, the thing is that at the time when we uh, started coming, you know, she was saying that, that I sent her a voice note because I was wondering, like, how come she sends me, like, this perfect corrected English, like, <laughs> on text message? Because I work, I work for a Hungarian company, so most of the, my colleagues are Hungarian, and some of them speak English, but they don't believe they speak good English. So when, whenever they come, they'll always introduce themselves. They're like... Hi, I am so and so, and forgive me, I don't speak good English. But I'm like, hey, you just introduced yourself for like the past 10, 20 seconds, and I understood literally everything you said. And when I thought about this, and I just knew it was like, I said, ah, it's just Hungarians. 
they will speak some mm-hmm. English, but they won't feel confident. But then I thought it was the same with Carol. But <laughs> hey, surprise, she just didn't know mm-hmm. any English. And I remember meeting her for our very first date, and I came with so much energy. I'm like, oh, oh it's me. What do you that remember? That was horrible. Like, I even forgot my name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that, that, that was... Oh. I can't I can't really forget that day because I was very surprised and I was asking myself like we are going on a first date with her like how are we even going to talk I just wanted to go home trust me I just wanted to go home and we're going ice skating good thing is we were going ice skating so I think that if we went for like a sit down date this oh, wasn't no. going to have happened like it wouldn't have happened no, so it was a very good thing we just had to do something some activities together yeah yeah first time. and I think like that's basically what we did for our first part of our date right we spent a lot of time just doing activities and Mm -hmm. barely having like sit downs where we just sat down to talk like really deep conversations or anything i think for that was like a very good place for each of us to get comfortable with each other Mm -hmm. and we could learn how to just communicate without having that in-depth conversation but just knowing how to say things and we can just understand what each other is saying so yeah and after that every day like after work sat down with my english books and i practiced every single night for hours <laughs> and i became better because he was very patient with me he helped me a lot but how do you feel about this how like this your patient it was comfortable for you or i think i've been in very tough places before like places where i needed just to be patient for something because i just believed in it and when i met you i just had this belief that something would work out for sure like between us Mm -hmm. i didn't really feel like it was a bit very hard honestly but i just saw your will she had a will to learn and that was that's all i needed just to see that she would do this to learn how to speak English so we can, you know, communicate. And also I should have learned Hungarian, honestly. Yeah. But Hungarian, hey, Hungarian is one of the world's hardest languages to learn. You guys have like 44 characters of the alphabet. Like how am I supposed to, I'm already having a hard time with the English alphabet, which is like (laughs) with like 20 something. And then you have 44. I need 20 something more to learn. It took me a while to learn Hungarian. And and for your family? (laughs) Yes. Yes, because my family does, don't speak uh, English and as Joe don't speak, doesn't speak Hungarian, it's a little mm-hmm. complicated. Yeah. But he's trying and my family love it. <laughs> Sometimes I say things which even I, even I don't know, but I see them celebrating. <laughs> That's always the best part of being in another country and trying to learn the language because people get happy. When you try even something that doesn't make sense to you, but you even don't know what you're saying, but it fits the moment, you know? And I think that just helped me get more confident, you know, just trying to speak with your family, even when they don't speak English, I try. My other challenge was to speak to his friends because, you know, when you in the group and people just talk, ch- uh, changing uh, thoughts about yeah some topic oh, that's it's, tough it's, it's even harder to mm-hmm. to join to the conversation because you already have to first you have to think and translate in your mind what you want to say i know that we beginning. we we kind of had this conversation about you know about this because most times when we're in a group i always kept on asking I, even when i'm with my friends i'm like hey are you comfortable uh, and i wanted to always just check on her because you know like if we went out to hang out with friends and all of us are laughing about something and she's not the one laughing because she doesn't understand what's going on i always like had to step out and just come and explain what we're talking about to her and naturally i think it's like it's very hard for some people mostly if they're not patient to just like think of their partners you know even when they're out amongst their friends or peers basically about this communication it's still a big big challenge up to now it, it is but i think that right now if if we would rate it from like one to ten i would say that we are we have reached level five so round of applause to to carol yay thank you thank you (laughs) it wasn't easy (laughs) 
that's it for today i think we talked about everything what we wanted to share with you and if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up so yeah so that's been it for today and uh we plan to release videos like this more frequently i uh, wish you guys a blessed week uh, have a great time god bless you guys we love you bye 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 bye